Salt House. It's the village of Salt House probably coming out rather darkly because the sun is so bright. And what we can see between the village and where I'm standing is this area of wetland. Uh, no doubt highly appreciated by the birds. Uh, there we have the car park. And there we have the sea. And it always appears to me that the sea is at a higher level than that of the car park. And I um, can't explain that one. But uh, clearly, as can be seen uh, from the wetland, it is prone to flooding. In fact, I was here once before and somebody told me that the sea broke right through to the village. And uh, so that's uh, some distance. Sea to, to go into. Uh, and uh, the last major problem, I believe, was 1987, though I'm not, um, I'm not certain of that. That was October 87, that's what somebody told me inland. There we have uh, shing Shingle Beach. Uh, sand, you've got to go much further in that direction, which is east. Coast here has got some it's an area of outstanding natural beauty, and this is administered by the National Trust, of which I am a member. Now, there used to be a fish and chip shop there, well, sort of like out the back of the house, some, some guy from Scotland, and he uh, used to get haggis there, so uh, they had rather unusual times of being open, but uh, now seems to be into lug bait. I don't know if that comes with chips or not, though. Never seen the water this high before, here, but then again, I've never been here in February before. I've only been here in the summer. Look at this enormous church for such a tiny place. Uh, directly in front of the bowling green as well. It's a pretty small bowling green. That's bowling green's goal. The church is pretty big, its church is gone. So the road into the church benefits from a muddy path. Look at the size of that window. It's the second God's Acre. So he's got two acres around here. That's nearly a hectare of land that God owns on this coast. These stones look pretty old. Nice view of the sea. In fact, the stones look much older than they are. 1891. So it's only 120 years old. Those ones I thought looked old, in fact, are from 1900. Thirty acres, one villager, one smallholder, forty goats, three freemen, fifteen acres, half a plough value, four pounds, nine furlongs, length six furlongs, width, tax seven old pence, seven denarii, three pence today. So even in a small village like this, 14 people died in the First World War, two in the Second, one in Korea.
Nicholas's church in Salthouse. Stalin. I'd be curious to know why these fonts are so big in East Anglia. Anybody knows, they can write it down. Hmm. This church has been put to some sensible use. I think that the church is indeed very impressive, but as always, my question is why bother with such impressive buildings when people could be given housing and infrastructure instead. Nonetheless, it is a very nice building. There's the dun cow. It's probably been conned in some way. And even the bus stop's brick and flint. Old post office. And there's a crab shop. I don't know if it's run by crabs or it sells crabs. The authorities are putting what is here to, appears to be some rather curious bird watching point. Uh, I mean, there is the marsh down there and over there, and there is a swarm of uh, several things down there. I mean, there was something that looked like avocets to me down there. That would be nice to see them. I have seen them before around here. I've seen quite a lot of them around here. But maybe, here, maybe not so many as that. But, uh, quite a few, though, isn't it? Back here. See where the land becomes dry. Very nice. Obviously, there's nothing here when I want it to be here, and as soon as I stop filming, it will uh, something interesting will appear. But it, uh, with my naked eye, I can see uh, there's a bird feeding there. I think it's a chip on the Can't see. Thank you. 